people who just steal my phone and just take these random weird selfies in them. Like I have some of my cousins and my siblings and like, like this is probably the hardest I've ever heard him laugh. <laughs> Colin, Devin, and kind of random all together and it was a good time. It was fun hanging out with all of them. Hi guys, it's Audrey and today's video we are going to be doing show me a picture of blank challenge. So if you guys don't know what this challenge is, it originally started on Instagram stories and basically you ask your followers to show you a picture of blank and everyone puts in their suggestions so a lot of them just like show me a picture when you were your happiest or when you were at your lowest or a silly picture or something like that. It could be literally anything you want. So I started to see um, this trend go around on YouTube and I wanted to hop on because I thought it'd be really fun. I also have so many weird photos and videos on my phone that I just take of randomly like of my family when it's just completely caught off guard. So I'm really excited to do this challenge and I also have multiples of each thing so I might show you a couple photos a couple videos of each of these things and this time I asked you guys on my YouTube community post to ask me things of which I should show in this video so make sure you're following me here on YouTube and that you're subscribed so that you can participate whenever I do community polls and on Instagram because I also pull comments from Instagram and you can follow me there at all around Audrey Okay, let's get started with the first one. All right, here's the comment. It says, um, I know this is a popular one, but when you were at your worst, but no one knew it. So show me a photo when you were at your worst. Fun fact, I don't ever take photos like when I'm crying. Like I, like when I'm like in a bad mood, I don't ever think of like to take a selfie. So I had to like really scroll my camera roll, but this is the picture that I found and I'm pretty sure like everyone knew I was at a low. Um, it looks so weird because it's me with a bowl of pickles and I think that's Sprite or water, I can't tell. This was a low moment for me. Um, this happened in December of 2019. We were on a Disney cruise with my family and I got so sick like I was in bed for like a full day or two on Christmas feeling the absolute worst I don't know what it was I think it might have just been like really bad food poisoning I'm not sure but I like could not eat anything I threw up all over the bed it was just so bad I basically quarantined before quarantine became a popular thing and I remember like one of the first things I ate after I like was starting to feel better was this bowl of pickles because I was craving pickles. If you know me, I love pickles so much. So my dad took this photo of me because he thought it was funny. That was just literally, I just ordered a bowl of pickles. I just, that's all I wanted to eat. This next one says a beach photo or a sunset picture. And this was so hard to just choose one. I did narrow it down to one and I decided to go with a sunset photo, which is this one. I think this photo was taken in South Dakota on our most recent summer um, road trip with my family. I remember my dad and sister and I, we took a really long hike to these waterfalls and they were so beautiful. It was starting to get late though, so we started hiking back and I took this photo as we were hiking back of the sunset and it's, it, this is without a filter. Like it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I also have beach photos, but I haven't been to the beach in so long because I live where there are mountains. Um, so, I have a lot of like very beautiful sunset photos. Show me the first picture of you and Spencer. So this photo I'm about to show you is actually not the very first photo I ever took with Spencer, but this is the first one um, when we, like before we started dating, when we were just hanging out this past year. And um, the first photo I ever took with him though was actually like, in high school we went on this scavenger hunt date around town and we had to take pictures of things that were on our scavenger hunt list sadly i don't have those photos anymore they were on a super old phone and i think i deleted them so i don't have them anymore very big sad i wish i did but this is the oldest photo that i have with spencer and we went to an escape room together and it was so much fun we actually went to an escape room with a random family and they were really cool we we're lucky we got stuck with a good with a good group of people. <laughs> Show me a picture of something a sibling took while you weren't looking. So this happens a lot actually, and let me 
find one. So I'm gonna show you two, and they're both of Jordan. So uh, you're welcome, Jordan. <laughs> so this is a photo of Jordan's face really close up. She was just like doing like weird facial expressions. I have so many photos of people who just steal my phone and just take these random weird selfies in them. Like I have some of my cousins and my siblings and like my parents. Like I don't know what's up with people taking my phone and taking selfies, but I keep them because of moments like this where I can get you back. Um, so this is one of Jordan, and then here's another one. This is actually a Snapchat that she sent me, and it says, I feel like I'm constantly being stared at, but I'm acting like a doofus, and I look like trash. So uh, it's funny because, okay, she's talking about whenever we get recognized in public, which happens, well, it used to happen often because, I mean, when we went out, but now we don't go out that often, so we don't see a lot of people, but I swear, the times that people recognize us from YouTube are always the times where we either don't look that good or we are just acting so absolutely weird. Like we are the biggest doofuses out there. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe someone just like recognized me and I'm just being so weird right now. But I'm glad you guys are able to come up to us when we're being our weirdest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was funny. I, I saved her Snapchat because relatable. <laughs> this next one is the prettiest place you've ever been, whether it's with Spencer or the fam. So my favorite place I've ever been, you already know it, a picture of Arches National Park. And this is the delicate arch. Arches National Park is my favorite national park ever. Like, ugh, I just love it. I, there's so many good memories, so many good vibes associated with, with it. Like every time I go, I've been with my family. I've been on a senior road trip with my friends when we graduated from high school. I went with Spencer while we were dating and I love Arches National Park. I wanna go back so much. Like looking through all these photos has made me want to travel so much more like I am travel homesick like I just want to get out now and explore <laughs> like uh, I've been stuck for so long in quarantine I just need to go to a national park which actually out of all the places you can go to during the pandemic a national park is probably like being outside of nature is probably one of the best things you can do especially if you can isolate yourself from other people and you you're a good distance away the next one is your oldest picture you have on your camera roll Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed of this, guys. This is my oldest picture, and it's me as a cringy, I think I was like 14, 15 years old. I was 15. And I'm pointing at my badge that says, Junior Ranger of Canyonlands. So this is one of those times that my family went on a road trip to Southern Utah, and I did all like the Junior Ranger programs, which is very aesthetic for my Instagram right now. Um, but this picture is so cringy. I think it's just the face that I'm making. Like, I'm like, like, I don't know why I, like, like why, like why did I do that? But yeah, this is the oldest photo I have in my phone. I got my phone when I was, I think, when I turned a teenager, so 12, 13 years old. And I don't know where all those photos are, but this is my oldest one, so. All right, the next comment is, show me a picture of the most random picture you've ever taken. So, um, well, there's many, but I guess I'm gonna have to go with this one, which is a picture of Jake on the stairs, just chilling. He's actually watching a video, you guys can't see that, but his phone is underneath his arm and he's watching on the stairs. I don't know what is up with me and my siblings, but like the stairs are the comfiest place to hang out, I swear. We will do our homework on the stairs, we will watch videos on the stairs, we will literally lay it on the stairs like this photo and everyone has to walk around us. Like, <laughs> I don't know why the stairs are so comfy. Leave a comment down below if you are the same in your family. All right, and this other one is a video and it's a video of my dad, I have to explain explain this beforehand. He was reading a review, I think on like uh, Amazon, on like sugar-free gummy bear reviews, and apparently they make you go poo poo. Mm -hmm. And so he was laughing his head off because they are the funniest comments ever. So here's a little video clip of him um, <laughs> reading the comments. Let's watch it together. <laughs> like he's laughing so hard he started coughing. <laughs> I washed my hands. And he didn't the know door I was filming this. Down, the door, so the face is looking back at me. Apparently, the seal to the bathroom was not ever <laughs> Like, this is probably the hardest I've ever heard him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he just. He just took the whole airplane out. <laughs> what? Let's just. 
Letting just the slightest airflow from that bathroom to the main cabin possible. These were daughters, mothers, and children. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so the story was like they had these sugar-free gummy bears on a plane and they basically bombed the bathroom and like there were people sitting next to the bathroom and probably smelled it and I think it's mostly funny because my dad was just just like cracking up so hard at this. It, this next one is show me a picture of you before quarantine. So I have two photos. This is one of me and my some of my best friends and every year we have a little Christmas party together and we do like a white elephant gift exchange. We have like a good present and a bad present or like a silly fun present and oh man it's so hard to like like you can't even be around your friends anymore like it's so sad. I wish I could see my friends. Sometimes we do FaceTime calls but it'll be great when we can all like get together and hang out again. It makes me so sad looking at this photo. <laughs> and then the other one is this photo and this is actually my college stadium. I had to go here um, for a class and if you just like look really close there are so many people in those bleachers like I would be freaking out right now it like if this happened during the pandemic I would be absolutely losing it like being so scared like oh my gosh I remember this stadium wraps all the way around and one time it was so full of people like every chair was taken that like people had to stand like between the aisles and we were being pushed out because of fire hazards like that's how, like, it's insane. There's probably thousands of people in here. The next one is show me a photo at your wedding. So this is actually a photo I don't think you guys have ever seen. This is our engagement photo session. And so this is not our wedding, but this was like a wedding picture. And this is not taken in arches, but it looks like it because the arch in the back. <laughs> but I love this picture because it's so pretty and I love the vibes that go with it. And this, yeah, this is a photo I don't think you guys have seen yet. There's actually a lot of wedding photos that I don't think you guys have seen. All right, the next one is your favorite photo of all time. And I'm gonna have to choose this one. This is my favorite photo that I've ever had taken of me. And I think this was in Barcelona, Spain or Madrid. I think it was Madrid. Oh, I don't remember. I think it might have been Madrid. Yeah, anyways, um, this was taken like in a little garden area. And I just love this because it gives me adventure vibes. Like I have my Cotopaxi backpack. I have my adventurous hat, my vlog camera. And I love this photo so much that I use it for like every profile picture, legit. And I just love how colorful it is as well. All right, this next comment says, show a photo of you with a celebrity. So, oh, I'm trying to think, have I ever met a celebrity? I'm not, I probably have, but I'm not sure. But one of them is with Collins Key. <laughs> he has a really big channel. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of him before. And also, Keen of Random. Um, I, my sister and I took a photo of Colin, Devin, and Keen of Random all together, and it was a good time. It was fun hanging out with all of them. So, I also have other pictures of YouTubers too. But yeah, this was really fun. All right, next comment is, show me a photo of one of your childhood memories. So I don't have a lot of photos of when I was a little kid on my phone because like I didn't take selfies when I was little. I didn't have a phone. Most of those are on like hard drives from previous cameras. But the ones that I did find were these that I took from a scrapbook. And here's a photo of me with slime, like playing with slime. And here's a photo of Jordan playing with slime. We were literally slime queens before it was trending on YouTube. We made slime as little kids all, all the time, as you can tell. And I just thought this was funny, like how far we've come. Like we've, we've been making this since I was probably like 10 years old and now I'm doing this as part of my job. <laughs> All right, the next one is show me a photo of a concert or sporting event you've been to. So I don't go to a lot of sporting events because I don't really watch sports, but I have been to three concerts. And this is a concert that I saw of AJR, and it was so cool. And as you can see in this picture, it's very vibrant. I love their concert because it was like a performance and a concert in one. Like it was a show. 
and like oh my gosh we we got there so early um and we actually were like in the front row standing it was a standing concert there were like chairs where you can sit down um but if you guys don't know agr is like my favorite band so this is definitely a highlight uh i hope that someday in the future we can go to concerts again because there's so much fun good memories i went with my two best friends and it was a, it was a blast <laughs> This next one is, show me a photo of you and Jake because we don't get to see you two together that much. That is true. I don't know. I don't know why we don't take photos that much. I just think that like, I don't know, whenever I'm hanging out, like, I don't know. I don't take a lot of photos that much anymore when I'm hanging out with people. So this photo of with Jacob is one actually when we were younger and it's a very silly one. So as you can tell, <laughs> Jake is making this really crazy face and I have three Burger King crowns like on my head. And I remember this day we were visiting um, my great great grandpa who we called the Burger King grandpa because every day for lunch he would go to Burger King and eat every single day and he lived in like his late 90s like he was so old and he would have like a coca-cola and a like a Burger King meal and so that's why we called him Burger King grandpa and I remember when we were out at lunch I took this photo and now now I can remember it forever <laughs> all right and this last one is Show me a photo of behind the scenes or the aftermath of filming a video. Oh, we have so many. So, let's start off with um, a couple of photos. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. So this is a photo of my bedroom. I think we filmed this for a TikTok. I don't, maybe a video too, but we have like an indoor snow machine and we did it in my room and it got everywhere. Like as you can tell, it's all over the floors. We had a, and it was on top of my bed and my dressers and stuff. We had to sweep it all off and clean it up. It was a mess, but it was, it was really fun when we were like playing in it. And then this is a photo of our basement. We made it all super misty and had a pirate ship in it for one of our series. Uh, so you never know what's gonna happen in our house. You may walk in the basement and it'll be full of foam. It'll be like misty. It'll be a ball pit. Like you, you'll never know, like seriously. Here's one of where we had so many glues. We were making, I think it was just a giant kiddie pool full of slime. It was, and yeah, it, they're like, like look how much glue there is <laughs> gallons and gallons and gallons of glue and activator is nuts that was also like so much fun like the videos that like get really messy are always definitely one of my fondest memories and then here's a video of my sister Jordan let's watch so I'm walking in her room and <laughs> She's trying to take off her makeup that we did in a video. I don't remember what video this was, but it was like lipstick all over her face and it stained her face. It did not come off. Rip Jordan. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video where we take a little peek at my camera roll, see what kind of things I have in there. I told you it was gonna be crazy. I have some crazy things. So if you want more like Instagram trendy videos on YouTube, make sure you thumbs up the video and leave it in the comments down below what I should do next and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.